We have not worked with this thermal printer before. I think this one is the Zebra 410 label printer. And the customer said the USB connector, the USB B type connector is broken. I do see it from the bottom here. But to change the port or to replace it, we have to remove the motherboard. And that's what Big Boss is doing. He removed like six million cables and screws and still. The printer is heavy and if it wasn't that the customer is local, I think it would cost a lot of money to ship this over to us. He's not using the electric screwdriver because those screws are tight. So he's doing it manually. Great. Big boss is the man. The boss of all bosses. Let's see. So the connector is broken off from right here. And this one looks like a standard USB B type connector. Four pins in the middle and two pins on the side. Great. If we look at the back. Yeah, four pins and two pins. No problem. All right, so we got the board out. That's the board right here. And I can tell that we have a broken connector. I can see the broken pins. We have two on the side and four in the middle. You can see the data lines running from this pin. This one and this one. And if we flip the board, we can tell there's one here also. So what we need to do now is we need to clean the holes. We need to clean here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can do this several ways. We can apply low melt solder or we can apply hot air and use our NF dot sucker. I think I'm going to do that. But you're not going to be able to see it because that sucker is long. It's not going to fit under the microscope unless I have it at an angle. And if you put the sucker at an angle, it's not going to work. Let me put something under the board so I do not burn my bench more than it's already burnt. The mat. It's not about the burn, but the smell. That smell cannot be good. Now I'm going to use the sucker, NF dot sucker. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can buy one off our site. Very effective and very cheap. It comes with an extra tip in case you damaged that tip. You see, one is gone. Hole two is gone. And now I'm going to heat up the four holes on the top. Let's take a look. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got it. The NF dot sucker is magic. Look at this. Right now, all we need to do is put the connector on.
and I'm assuming this is the same connector for legs, four in the middle and two on the side. Usually those connectors are standard unless that connector is not standard, but it looks standard. Yes. It's standard unless it's not standard. Okay, so we got the pins in. Very nice. Just a quick cleanup before we apply solder. We do not have to clean right now, but I like things to be perfect. We need a lot of solder on this joint. Let me do the small ones so we can hold that connector down in place like this. Let me rotate the board because right now I have my finger under the connector while soldering at the same time. So that connector stays flush with the board. Now that we soldered three legs, now we can do the rest and then Big Boss can reassemble and we can call the customer to come and pick up. The customer is local. He's actually a tech and he always brings stuff over. How come he's a tech and he does not solder? Micro soldering is a specialty service. If you're a technician, it doesn't mean you solder. He's more into the IT field. And the microscope went out of focus because I pressed down on the board. Let's do this one here. But of course, we're going to need flux. And all the tools that we are using here are sold on our site. All items are in stock. Everything from this original Amtec flux to the soldering iron, hot air station, this wire, soldering wire, the microscope, this amazing microscope. And now we have it under the Northwich Fix name. And we got the latest and greatest version, the red color. And I think we need just a tiny bit more light. And we are done. Let's clean up. And better than factory. The factory one broke. So ours is no doubt better than factory. Because somebody wrote, how can this be better than factory? Of course the factory is better. No, ours is better. Anything that's done by hand is usually better. And that's why those exotic cars are expensive. Now, there are some things that machines can do that humans do not have the precision to do. And that's a different story. Now you can look at man-made joints, solder, and you can look at machine solder. That's unleaded solder, so it does not look shiny, it looks matte. It's usually perfect on every joint. It 
but we are perfect in our own way. I like to see myself with those joints. Okay, and that's how machines clean motherboards. You see that residue? Ours is different, right? I got the connector right here, and the connector is soldered on flush. And we saved that expensive printer. All right, so we reassembled the board, and bad news. The printer was not recognized by Windows 10. We plugged in the cable from the connector that we soldered onto a computer, and Windows 10 did not recognize the printer, so there's something going on. Now, we disassembled the motherboard, and I realized we did not have a diode reading on two of the pins. I removed the connector. I desoldered the connector that we soldered on. And we had a perfect soldering on that connector, but what can you do? And let me go ahead and measure in diode mode quick. You see how we have a trace here? We have a trace here, and we have two traces on two of the pads on back of the board. Okay, so we have, you see, a trace, a trace. And if you look here, the traces are going to, to where? To empty pads. Are those pads empty by default? Because the traces, they look good. I do not see any broken traces. And right now, if we measure, let's measure from here. If we measure from here to here, we have ground here. If we measure from here to here, we have ground. This pad is ground. If we measure here, we have a 0 0.8 reading, which is good. This pad is connecting via a trace on back of the board. But what about those? This one is going here, and this one is going here. And both of them are empty pads, so we do not have a reading. Oh, well. Oh, well. What that tells me is we have a missing component here, U9. And if you look closely at the pads, you can tell those pads are not factory. They're not empty by default. Same here. There was a component that was ripped off from here and a component that was ripped off from here. I do not know what U9 is and I do not know the value of L1 here. How can we fix this port? Now to confirm this, I went online and searched for an image, for a motherboard image, and I found this one here. Look at this. Look at my cursor. We have a component here this black component, that's U9, and we have L1, which is this black component here. So we do have two missing components, and the components, a five-legged component, and we have four legs here, a four-legged component. So I'm going to have to let the customer know. I'll reach out. I do not know if we can buy a donor board that we can use for parts or I'll see what the options are, but that's where we are right now. Now, if that printer was not tampered with before, because we did not have the original connector that was broken, and I asked Big Boss, where's the original connector? And he said, it's not inside. So that printer was probably opened up and in the process, or maybe when that connector broke in the process, it broke off two components from the motherboard. What can you do, right? We're going to end the video right here. I'm going to let the customer know. And if I have any information about those components, I'll update the post. Maybe I'll pin the comment. And we'll see. If you have any information as the viewer about those components, let me know. And that's it. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Or maybe you did not enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video. Mm -hmm.